Wait, why are you surprised that I got inside the beta? Come on, chat. Come on, man. Anyway, yes, guys, we are going to be playing some Street Fighter 6 today. I know I'm a little bit later compared to some other people. I know they was up first thing in the morning when this thing came out. But we're going to be playing it this Friday night. Of course, uh, we're going to be playing this game tonight. Uh, your boy has some, obviously, some schoolwork and stuff to take care of. But we're going to be playing it tonight. I've been saying people will definitely post some stuff about the game and talk about the, you know, the menu options and how certain things work and stuff like that. I've been saying a little bit of it, but not too much. First thing we definitely got to check out is, of course, this menu. Talk about some of the accessibility stuff that I saw. And then I want to talk about some of the actual in-game tutorial stuff before we actually jump into some matches and stuff. So right off the bat, this menu is actually ridiculous, right? So we got the three main options here, the world tour, which is the story mode. Of course, this isn't going to be available inside the demo itself, but this is where you create your avatar, embark on a journey, and find the meaning of strength like that inside the giant story mode with the city and stuff like that. This is where, uh, you know, well, you, we obviously make our character inside this, but I made my character before we started chat, obviously, because I didn't want to sit there and do that for the, the entire time. I just made a basic character, but we're going to do one time uh, character in this uh in this demo so once you make your character you're kind of stuck with it until the end of the demo experience there is the uh, hub which is i think the only thing that's available and then there's the fighting ground which is basically the, the basic game modes right so this is the arcade mode the training road offline matches and stuff like that uh, this is not available as well but inside the multi-menu there is a couple of things here as well of course the tournament the cfn the reward so so many different things here right the cfn you can see like you know you manage your friends and clubs and stuff like that your regular profile stuff then there is the options now i know some people who were talking about this game possibly will have a like incognito mode or something like that maybe just be based on the options that were there uh the battle screen this is personally good i think as well personal info display settings so battle screen battle hub and other cfn related this possibly be good if it's like getting rid of information from people who don't like to see certain things so one you can hide it from other people but from people who don't like to see like all their win percent and stuff like that, that could be discouraging from them when they're trying to learn a new game, especially if they're new to fighting games. A lot of that information can be discouraging to certain players. So having the ability to turn that information off so you don't have to worry about it. And so other people don't have to look at it. Don't get, you know, you don't have that anxiety of like it's always being there. You just turn it off. Have a chill time and actually just have fun playing and learning the game. Now, one thing I definitely went ahead and did, of course, was change a lot of my settings to classic controls because I know this this looked like it was a pain i heard some people talking about it like they was like they didn't know how to get to classic controls like the modern controls are taking over every time they played so i definitely went ahead and like try to get that done as well for like all the sudden you had to do it in like three different places it's pretty weird um so yeah that that was that is something that some people were dealing with early on it's a lot of settings here now this is where things get a little bit crazy the basic settings you know your basic audio settings and stuff but the detail setting this gets a little ridiculous this is to opponent sound volume, hit sound volume, clothing sound volume, footsteps, regular actions, attack sounds, drive gauge, battle hub, environments. Like, it is crazy. Uh, I think it goes hand in hand, though, probably with some of the uh, accessibility options here like this. Uh, you know, for people, uh, I think these options are like, you know, for like people with like probably like a couple probably like disabilities, or something like that. Maybe like you can't see that well or something. So, you know, you can like have a distance from your opponent sound or cross up it uh hit symbol sound some of these sound good for people uh, obviously not just people that can't see well or something like that but just for just people in general right maybe i don't know if there is even a sound for like drop gate for example but if you're a person that get overwhelmed with like all the stuff on the screen or all the ui options and it's hard for you to pay attention to certain things maybe having a sound effect for the status of your drive gauge maybe like when it gets low it makes a sound or when it's full it makes a sound and you, you kind of just know these stages based on the sound stuff like that. It kind of makes you a little bit more aware of the position you're drive gauge in and like how you're utilizing and stuff like that. You may be like, oh, I didn't realize that, you know, this combo was that expensive or, you know, I'm using too much by doing these options. It probably gets you a little bit more hesitant to use those options or a little bit more in a critically thinking mindset of how this game wants you to utilize drive gauge, but not too much to put yourself in that sort of exhaust state, right? So this could be something that can actually help new players too like they, i think that's pretty cool and then the graphic settings here nothing real crazy you know your basic graphic settings your detailed graphic settings i don't think any, all these options are going to be on console i don't think so but these are definitely the pc options but nothing real crazy here now this is what i was talking about right so when you go over to the character section right you'll see that every character has their own set of like character settings and so like i was like okay let me just change this all to classic right this is probably what was bodying people right here like when you want to try another character you probably it started everybody on modern controls so i manually had to change everybody to classic people are probably getting bodied by this 
and then i believe also you have to change it inside a training room as well because i had to do it there too like you have to do it in like three different places i, I don't know why it's like that but that that is like how it is but yeah your basic match mating seconds here I, I believe inside the battle hub you can also do like rain matches and casual matches and uh this is how you like confirm your opponents and stuff like that in order to training room in the beta uh, in the beta though I i've definitely seen people talk about you have to be on the hub like you have to be in the hub you have to be on a cab i'll probably try to find a world where there isn't a lot of people that way nobody gets on your cab really and stuff like that so that's something you have to worry about you seen the two stage thing oh yeah yeah i see exactly what you're talking about yeah yeah so for the people who don't know uh in this game apparently and this is gonna be very interesting so the stage settings right you could choose what stages you want so obviously i got mine on random they had the training room stage was you know some people doomed about it being inside the game they don't like to see like the the grid or whatever but apparently people have seen that you could be on different stages and still fight the opponent so i could be on training room and you could be on the macho ring and like we're still playing the match now the interesting thing to this for me is if you know certain fighting games certain fighting games have what we call net play stages like you know guilty gets drive you don't know actually got net play stages some other fighting games like blaze blue and stuff like that had net play stages i don't know if it's as important as it was before the rollback stuff like that but yeah, certain games have that so if this game essentially has stages where there's less lag or less input delay that's happening based on the things that are on the screen i wonder how this is going to affect the two people connecting if one is on training room and the other person is on one of those heavy stages that got a lot of stuff that can input a lot of delay what if the, i wonder if the delay is going to be on their side or is it going to mess with the connection between the two players especially how's that going to work between the cross play uh between the two players and stuff like that if the one player is on pc and one player is on uh console and stuff like that so these are going to be some interesting things to see and uh i wonder how the testing about those things are going to be so i'm definitely interested to see how that works out and if it runs smoothly on all that on, during all those circumstances then we got a good system right here i'm not even gonna lie to you that is pretty good if this game can get bypass all of that good stuff so yeah i've seen a lot of people actually talking about this i want to say like a few weeks back because they actually showed it off a little bit so they showed off some of the training room and stuff like that but just getting my hands on it right just actually getting my hands on it and actually seeing this in person is ridiculous bro this is so good for new players the simple training room settings right so they could just basically apply these settings and it basically just puts you in like sort of a mode to where you can actually just start doing the things you want to do you want to practice your combo they got a mode for that automatically re refill your gauges make the optimal combo practice the dummy will block as soon as the combo drops so you know if it's a combo right anti-air practice where you will randomly switch between neutral and forward jumps and if you add these additional slots of recording it will add a horizontal movement and forward dash movement into the throw mix up for reuse move set this is very good right because when people actually like try to do anti-air practice and stuff they usually do it in a more i want to say robotic way they use it like when people are trying out plant like doing the anti-airs like especially new players they will just practice like almost like the anti-air combo but they don't practice the situation of like trying to react to the anti-air or the situation this is very good for a more natural approach to trying to get your anti-airs down right we're just trying to engage with the system to try to see what moves can be used as anti-airs because not in every game there's like a a designated anti-air like street fighter has so many different buttons that could be used as an anti-air depending on like the spacing or or like you know just different different type of things like that so the ability to see like okay Ryu's going to neutral jump here then he's going to forward jump or he's going to dash and stuff it allows you to probably check the different situations like okay at this range right here i know that i can anti-air but this button right here can probably also check a dash or something like that too so you know different things like that you'll be thinking about because the system actually puts it into practice for you automatically so it makes it to where you're already thinking about the different type of situations that could come up which a new player probably wouldn't think about when they're actually trying to do this type of stuff so it just makes it a lot more of a natural situation which is so 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 good we yeah, just a few more here we got the defensive pressure one so of course you know you can practice your offensive pressure your throw escapes so they're going to do a couple of lows and then uh obviously mixing some throws and stuff in there whip punishes which is going to be crazy inside this game right because apparently you actually get punished harder for whipping in this game than you do on counter hit i've seen uh people talk about the amount of plus frames you get on a whip punish compared to uh because there's a whip punish counter in this game so you get more plus frames on a whip punish counter than you actually do on a regular counter hit which is crazy so you do not want to be whiffing in this game for sure whip punishing is like it's going to be uh very very crucial in this game uh but yeah they have settings to actually you know help you practice that your punish practice drive impact like 
it's a decent amount of settings here. I actually really do like this. I think it's going to help not only new players, but just uh, new players of fighting games, but new new players to the game in general, right? This is a brand new game. So this is stuff we all can pretty much practice and just get down quickly and stuff and just practice some of these things. Like this could be something uh, anybody could use, to be honest. All right, Chazzo, I think we actually got a decent amount here. I think we're ready. Let's try, let's actually try some matches. All right, so here we go. So mirror match right off the bat. All right, let's, let's see how this go. Uh oh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Uh huh. Ooh, he went for a throw. Okay, okay. 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 Oh, he just kept mashing. Dang. Dang. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we in here. Oh, your cans don't restock. Oh, I didn't want that. Ah, oh, that's a mistake. He could have punished that harder. Sorry, he went for a throw. Okay. Ah, uh, he hit me with the cross up. Nice. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. He's trying to bust out. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yo, Street Fighter. Alright, 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 alright. Yo, we gotta, we gotta do some of those setups we learned. Okay, he did the, uh, the target combo. Oh, that anti aired me. Game punish counter also? Yo, dang, busting out, huh? Okay. Ah, I messed up again. Ah, it's okay, okay. Let me get out of there. Nice, nice, nice. Oh my God. I, 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 I didn't want to use my super meter. Save for the next round. Ooh. All oh, right, he punished me, okay. Okay. Got throw. I I was looking for a jump. Damn. Yeah, that's 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 my that's my fault.
Yo. He's like he's like so close on top of me. I actually don't know if I can press a button. So he he immediately went. Yeah, see a lot. I see a lot of people trying that. I don't think that's real. I think I think you could definitely like do something. You definitely could do something about that. Okay. Okay, he brought the throw. Ah, uh, I tried to, it didn't come out. I don't know why. Okay. There we go. I don't know why he did that. Jeez. Oh, no, I, I gave him this. I, I really am getting him, giving him a lot of jumps, huh? No, I didn't want that. That's not good. Okay. Woo. Bust out, bust out, bust out. My bust out is DP. Other people bust out is using that uh that driving pad move. Oh no, not the grid. All right, here we go. All right. Immediate jump up from the can player. Huh? Okay. Wow, he is pressing some buttons. Okay. Nope. He is mass and driving back. Okay. I wonder can you I wonder if you can absorb the actual or well, that's the parry, right? The drive impact you can uh I wonder if you can uh parry the drive impacts. I don't know. Don't know where the random DPs are coming from. Oh wow, he tossed the monkey out of the corner. Okay. Okay. Woo! That is where my kick. Okay, that's fine. Ah, uh, I messed up. Wow, he kept matching it. He didn't care. <laughs> Okay, I'm winning. I'm winning. I don't have to. I don't have to overextend. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. That her standing medium kick is like my go, like my go-to, bro. That button is so big. It's so good. All right, here we go. The top players here. Let's get it. Are we fighting a Jamie. Okay. Man, oh my man's jumping. All right, gotta gotta protect the skies. Oh, I did the I, I definitely did the setup, bro. Okay. Oh no, I can't let you do that. Yo, use it to jump out of that. G. 
too far, huh? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, this character got the mixies, bro. Yo, yo, people really do be waking up with that. He just, he just kept getting hit. <laughs> oh, I like how I switched between Kimberly thing and Jamie's thing. Now I get to hear his thing. Oh, you can break it. I, I did not mean to throw it due to corner throw out. Calculated, you heard her. Oh, that's definitely a punish. Stop it. Yeah, that's right. I got it. All right, all right. All right, we out here. Okay. Ooh, nice. All right, I got, I got punished. <laughs> okay, okay, what are we doing here? What are we doing? Coming in. <gasps> oh, you tried me. You tried me. You tried me. <laughs> I respect the attempt. I respect it. Luckily, she went behind, bro. Oh, I just realized there are modern controls. I just realized that. Yo, when worlds collide. Oh, they, they are not blocking. I keep doing, I keep doing the double down sometimes. And uh, the double down definitely makes it to where you, uh, that is good like if you're in the corner. That sucks. All right, we just gonna bust out. <laughs> just bust out. Man, wake up, wake up like stuff in this game is mad easy. A lot of it's like just buttons. Now, I think it's all like frame one. Oh, you're, oh, we mashing out? Oh, I didn't realize what was happening. Calculated. Oh my goodness. The Azuna drops. <laughs> this character got some sick ass combos and stuff, bro. I'm not going to lie to you.